Hello guys and welcome back to Souls Up 3. I almost said 2. Uh, no, that's not for like another like 4 days as I'm recording this video. Anyway, it is Sunday, October 16th, 2022. And as you guys can see, Operation Memory is officially gone. And with that being said, now we have some construction around the lab for the upcoming Halloween party on October 23rd and will end on November 6th, so in exactly three weeks. At least from when this video is being filmed. Before we jump into anything, as usual, we always have the book to start off. It says, and it's also called Spooky Construction. Well, it still says construct, but you get the idea. Hey everyone, Operation Memory has ended and we got Rose Crystal's mind reset, thankfully just in time for it to end. We are now preparing for the Halloween Party 2022 starting Sunday, October 23rd. Construction is here! Upcoming events, October 23rd, Halloween Party 2022 begins. October 30th, Candy Hunt 2022 begins. And lastly, on November 6th, the Halloween Party 2022 ends, plus the November 2022 catalog, even though it just says catalog. Speaking of catalogs, the October 2022 catalog is now in the clothes shop and is filled with Halloween costumes. See you October 23rd for the Halloween party 2022 in Zola 3 by Mr. She. Alright, and as usual, you guys know the deal. That is already in the library. But yeah, speaking of construction and catalogs, that's exactly what this video is in the title. With that being said, as you guys can see, we have construction all over the place. And yes, this is proof that Operation Memory is indeed gone. Which is actually pretty insane. Can't believe it's already gone already. How the heck did a week go by so quickly? But thankfully that was the last Operation event at least in Zola's Eye 3 for the year. It actually is the last event this entire year across both labs to have the name Operation in it. So, yeah, we're done with that. But as for mission-based events, no, we still got a few left across both labs. Mainly Zola's Eye 2. So, yeah, we still got a few to go. Um, anyway. Let's get started. So, as you can see, um, we have all of this. Oh, uh, I guess these guys are meant to be in their respective rooms. Um, I'll do that later off camera. Um, yeah, because I can just do that on my own time. No need to film that. Uh, but yeah, there is construction all over the place. They look like this. And... Yeah, it looks super, super cool. I even put pumpkins on top. That's actually a thing for all of these crates. Anyway, this is the second one right here, literally right next to the UFO. The third one is right over here, right where the um, current party sign used to be for Operation Memory. And yeah. Next up, the last thing out here is, well, as you can see, the actual front of the lab itself is already starting to turn Halloween related, aka a haunted castle, because that's the theme. Thank you, Evil Sheet Leader. If you do watch the end of Operation Memory, you would know that that's the theme. Hence why all of the construction is literally based off of that. Comment down below if you've managed to notice. Um, because that's literally exactly what these crates are based off of. And that's why the logo looks like this for the, uh, party sign. For this. Yeah, it actually looks really good. It truly shows that, yeah, this place is about to be haunted soon. Going in here, as you can see, we have a lot more construction in here. Not as much compared to outside, but it's still some. Actually, yeah, why not? Actually, I realized I never actually put construction in the backyard. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it real quick. This won't take long. I promise. Got 
Done already. Yep, see, told you that wouldn't take long. But yeah, there's construction in the backyard now, which is really, really nice. Now, as for the actual backyard in real life, that's in like a week for the construction. Anyway, back in here. So again, we have some carved pumpkins all over the place. We also have, the pillars have been changed to look more haunted. And again, a few pumpkins right around here as well. It's really nice. Let's move on to the flower shop, which has only just one set of construction. But actually, yeah, let's do that. And this, there we go. Now it looks like construction, even though this already was here. Anyway, what are your thoughts on all this construction? It looks really nice. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, it looks so cool with this construction now. So yeah, what are your thoughts on all of this, guys? Comment down below. Let's move on to the roof next. Oh dang, it's really 8.30 at night already? Wow, that went fast. So here's construction up here for the roof for the Halloween party. Yeah, it looks rather nice. You know what, let's add a little detail. Let's add a little jack-o'-lantern right there and um, I guess like two right here for the heck of it. I mean, you gotta have some construction somewhere. Yeah, that makes more sense. There you go. That's it for the construction up here. Alright, now down to the actual lab itself. So now we actually have a lot more construction down here. Now we got a few crates down here for, again, the Halloween party. We have pumpkins um, right here and right here, alongside up here as well. But yeah, take a look for yourself. Yep, there are literally crates all over the place and even just all over the lab. Even in here, there's a crate. But yeah, that's so cool. But yeah, what do you guys think of um, the construction in here? Uh, nothing in the HQ, but the map is updated. So technically there is something. Oh, uh, I forgot to put this in, so give me one second, guys. That part's done. Forgot to get the uh, glow ink. There we go. There we go, and we are done. Sorry that that took so long. I should have actually paused that. <laughs> My bad. But I didn't think it was gonna take that long. Yeah, that's the next um, attack. Yeah, literally only like one week later. I know, insane, right? Okay, so that's cool. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yes, there is more construction here. Uh, well, not really, but you can see it on the map. It looks really nice. Of course, every area is going to be decorated for Halloween, including the planets and special souls at three. Yes, I literally mean everywhere. Maybe even down there, actually. No updates down there. Actually, there hasn't been one in like a good while since like souls at three's like fifth anniversary. Yeah, there's the cool guy 33 sheep, so that's nice. Nice that we run into him again. 
All right, so yeah, we do actually have construction in here. I know. Kind of rare that you see construction in this room. Or just it being decorated in general. Yeah, I'm going all out with this one. All right, so now we are in Rose Crystal's room. Uh, not much to really say in here. Well, I guess I could grab this and spread uh, a few decorations around. Just for the literal act of it. I mean, she wouldn't care. There we go. That actually looks really good. Anyway, once again, that's how this looks. Looks really, really nice. Now that I put all those jack-o'-lanterns or just carved pumpkins all over the place, it makes it look a little more scary. Nothing in here, but I could add some stuff, actually, to make it a little more scary. There we go. That's just construction, of course. Now, we will be back here later for the catalog, as I'll save that for last. So yeah, we'll be back there later. Anyway, here's the underground party room. The only thing that's in this room besides the crate are these two pumpkins. And yep, that's how big the crate is. Dang, that's a big one. Nice. Okay, let's make our way in here. Hopefully DJ Sheep will come back. Oh, I still have yet to clean this up in the color party. That'll definitely be during when I do the Halloween party. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, there are two crates in here this time. I don't know. I think this might be the first time that there's actually more than one crate in here for construction in Snowland. Actually, a lot of this has never been done before. Where there's more than one crate. And this ain't the last one. Alright, so that's it for this right here. They look really nice. The last area to have construction is, well, not here or here, because they're too small. So, of course, it's the balcony. Ah, yes. Goldie is still up here after over three years. When will we ever get off the balcony? Dang, now it just feels so weird not having the mine machine there anymore. I was still used to having it there. Dang, that really now does feel weird. And honestly, I think I'm glad it's over because, um, yeah, now we can go back to focusing on, uh, you know, other random stuff. So that's at least something. Yeah, now I don't have to worry about doing another mission for a good bit. But yeah, that is it for the construction, guys. We are going to make our way back down to the close shop for, uh, the October 2022 catalog. So, um... There's actually no need to pause it because we're actually really close to the close shop. So we can actually just make our way down there right now because we're actually really, really close to the close shop. Yep, see? We're already here. Obviously, opening up this door and opening this chest will give us the October 2022 catalog. Let's read it. Of course, we have clothing catalog, October 2022, Halloween theme, as usual. Uh, we have my wizard costume, the zombified version of that costume, Rose Crystal's Ender Dragon costume, the zombie costume, the skeleton costume, the creeper costume, the wither skeleton costume, and the bee costume. I know, I went for that a little fast, but there's not much. Apart from that, yeah, we finally have a catalog after two months, and hopefully that'll be a good thing, and uh, hopefully something that continues, uh, hopefully uh, for a good while. And hopefully for a very long time. So that is it, guys, for this episode of Zola's F3. I will be back in exactly a week for the Halloween party. And yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Um, so guys, comment down below what is your favorite part of the construction and what do you think of that catalog? See you in the next one, guys.